everybody, back again. Now I'm going to be opening up the Shot Fox Dust Collector. It's a one and a half horsepower, the model W1685, W1685. And uh, I'm not as impressed with the shipping on this one. I know it's very heavy. Uh, the shipping weight on it said it was 110 pounds. So uh, it took several guys offloading this off of a freight truck for me. I ordered this off of Amazon and it did come slightly damaged. I saw over here on the very front, uh, the straps that went around it cut down into it and it went down into the styrofoam. So hopefully that didn't do any damage to any of the parts inside. Uh, we'll check it out, but overall this is a pretty heavy piece. So I'm expecting this to be pretty heavy duty. Uh, I know it was over 1200 CFM that this thing's supposed to be producing. So it's gonna be a welcome upgrade to the shop and making sure that the dust particles are getting out of the air and out of my face. See what we got in the box. Looks like we have some caster wheels. Uh, one of the positives with this and my small shop here, uh, mobility, being able to move this around, getting it to one corner, move it into the middle when I need it. Uh, was very important to me. That's one of the reasons why I went with this instead of a large fixed unit. Um, so now I'm going to take a look at the instructions, see what I need to do, and start putting this thing together. So the first thing that the instructions tell me I need to do is put the caster wheels on. So I've laid out all my screws, washers, and nuts, and I'm ready to install them. Uh, as I'm seeing all four of these swivel, so there shouldn't be any specific order that these have to go in. So I'm just going to go ahead and set these out here, do two, flip it around, and then do two more. One thing I'm seeing that Shopbox has done for us is they provided us with some wrenches. Uh, metric set of 8, 10, 11, and 13. I'm assuming these are the sizes I'll be needing for this project. Uh, and then, of course, they ask for a Phillips head screwdriver. like these nuts are going to be the tens. Next step is going to be to attach this plate onto the motor mount itself. I'm going to be using these 1.25 by 25 screws, two washers, and one nut.
decided to go ahead and use my ratchet set to tighten these up. Nothing against their wrenches they provide, but it's much faster. Alright, I tightened these down on this bracket, understanding that I may have to loosen them again uh, to shift this. They put slots in these holes, so I'm assuming there's some fit up adjustment, so I may have to take those off, but I tightened them down for the moment. Next, we're going to be setting the motor onto the base. Now we get to see if my holes line up. Which they don't. So, as I said before, I'm going to be loosening these and sliding this piece so I can line up my hole right here. bolts have a retaining nut inside of the base so there's no nut that goes on the back side of these that actually makes this much simpler to install not having to reach under there and try to fish a nut that's a good design feature of this so far that I've seen so now that I got the motor mount plate on there I'm going to shift the motor forwards until I line up the holes for the blower assembly. Don't forget to go back and retighten those other nuts that we loosened at the beginning. The next step is going to be to put this outlet flange on here and it has a gasket that goes on to seal so that no air is escaping out of it. So we'll just put these on there and tighten them down. Don't forget your washer. Looks like for the model that I have, we're supposed to use these smaller ones. They're gonna require a nut to go in the back, which the instructions don't say, but gonna have to have it for it to work. All right, next up we're gonna go ahead and put the mounting brackets for the bags on here.
tickets that we just put on. Now as I'm finding out, I need to take these back off because I have to put the upper piece on there that holds the air filtration bag. Now I'll put the hose piece that attaches the motor unit to the bag holder. Those tighten down nicely. Now I got the upper piece, the uh, 2.5 micron filter bag on the top. That snapped in very simply with one of these snap uh, straps that are on there. It's got a spring on it, which is really nice. That puts some good tension on it. And uh, I don't think that's going anywhere. So now I got to do the same thing with the bag that goes on the bottom. It's going to go around this ring and then clamp on. Uh, this appears to me to be a two-person job, but I'm going to attempt to do it by myself. All right, it looks like I have it on there and it's all the way around. I don't think that's going to be going anywhere. All right, we got everything together here. Bags on, the 2.5 micron filter bag. I've got the hose that attaches the motor and the blower unit to the bag unit. I got the bag attached. Um, my critique on that is that it is not very easy to put that bag on. It is a two person job. Uh, two people could probably do it very easily. One person will struggle on their own. I tried using some painter's tape to help hold the bag up while I was trying to put the strap on. Uh, once the strap gets on there, I feel like it's on there pretty good, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the stand is a little shaky. I'm not sure how that's gonna do noise-wise as it starts vibrating. I was expecting that to be a little more sturdy, but it's not. Um, I don't have a hose to go on to the end down here, so I'm not gonna be able to test it, but I am gonna turn it on and we'll see if it runs. Here we go. It worked. Turned on, 
blower worked good, sounded not as loud as I thought it was going to be, which is good. I was concerned about the noise. It was not that loud. I noticed that the bag immediately slipped down on me, so I'm going to have to go one more clip tighter on that um, to help hold that in place, but that's not going to be a big deal. So that concludes the setup of the shot box. 1.5 horsepower dust collector system. I'm excited to put this to use along with that wind filter that I just installed. Uh, I'm going to be breathing a lot cleaner air in my shop. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. Join my channel, see some future videos that I'm going to be making. i got a table project coming up. I've got more projects starting up and I do still have to do the unboxing of the wind drill press. So that another video.